Hello everyone, in this video what I'd like to do is show you the project that I have been working on over the last few weeks, and that is how to cut metal using electrolysis. Now I'm yet to have very much success with this project, so I'm hoping maybe some of your comments below can give me some ideas to get this working. Many of you over the years have asked to see some of my projects that have ended in failure, and though I'm not quite convinced that this project will be a total failure yet, I'm having trouble getting it to work properly. So in any case, this project, as I mentioned before, is how to cut metal with electrolysis. And the first place I came across this idea was in a video published in 2010 about how to make pulse jet reed valves from spring steel. I'll give you a link so you can see this video for yourself in the video description below. But the general premise is you take a piece of steel and you coat it with a etching paint. Now this paint isolates the steel from electricity, so wherever you scratch through that paint, you can then allow electricity to flow only in that area. By taking the plate of steel and submerging it into a tank filled with water with a dissolved electrolyte inside, such as table salt or baking soda, and then passing a current through this water from the steel plate acting as an anode, it should corrode away the freshly exposed steel while leaving all the steel intact that is still covered by the non-conductive paint. Now in theory, this should be able to cut very complex shapes into metal without creating stress fractures or causing other issues that traditional cutting methods might cause. In practice, I've found it's not so easy. This is a piece of steel that I cleaned very thoroughly before use, and I coated with the etching paint. On the close-up image, you can see that electricity was able to get under the layer of paint on the surface near the outline of the cut. This is not good because now the electricity is flowing outside of the borders where I wanted it to be, and the cut will not be precise. In my several weeks of testing this project, I tried many different types of paint, and actually the most promising result was to coat the steel in a layer of wax, and then scrape away the wax before dipping it into the electrolytic solution. I didn't use paint at all for this experiment, but eventually the bubbles did still form around the scratches. If I could get this method working properly, it would be useful for so many different applications. For cutting thin steel like this, you could basically do anything a laser cutter can with nothing more than a battery charger and a fish tank. I'd really love to hear your ideas on this one. I'd once again like to thank my Patreon supporters, and if you'd like to support my videos yourself, please check out my Patreon page in the video description below. So thank you for watching this video, and once again, remember to leave me your comments below. I really enjoy reading through your comments, even on all my old videos, I still read them all. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.